Welcome back to Inside the Heat. Dunbar High School in Dayton had many talented athletes roam its halls, fields, and courts. Some you may have even heard of, like former Heat guard Daquan Cook and NFL star Big Daddy Dan Wilkinson. But this is the story of Dayton's diamond in the rough, a six foot two point guard who always had something to prove. Norris Cole was a multi-sport athlete and competed in track, baseball, basketball, and football where he was the quarterback. In those days, there was simply nothing that could stop Norris Cole. Norris Cole attended Paul Lawrence Dunbar High School in Dayton, Ohio, and became a multi-sport star athlete. When I first met him, I was a little afraid for him because, you know, he was kind of thin playing quarterback. His junior year, I was, it was my first year as head coach. And we were three and seven. And he was able to help us turn the whole program around, and we ended up being seven and three the next year. I actually liked him playing football better than basketball. I said he had all that protective gear on that he could run for his life. People who can perform when there's a lot of commotion going on and can still stay calm and keep their nerves under control, those are special people. And playing football, that helped me be able to perform. When everyone else has high nerves, I'm able to you know, still be calm and perform. Senior season, he had a really good season that year. He broke his baby uncle's record in passing. I passed for like over 2,200 yards. Norris Cole's pass complete to Darren Powell. 19 passing touchdowns, two rushing, so I had 21 total touchdowns. I was a pretty good passer. <laughs> he ended up making all area, all conference, second team all states. Whatever he gives, he gives his best at it. In the winter of 2003, Cole would join a basketball team who already had established players like Daquan Cook and Aaron Pogue. His choice was to go to Dunbar High School and be there with all of this talent because he believed that he belonged. I mean, by midway of that season, his junior year, he got an opportunity to start and he just took advantage of it. And as his career went along, his the sun started shining on him. But Pope comes down with it, scrambles on the floor, able to outlet it, and here comes Cole. Look out. Wow. I'll take him. He can play for me anytime. The, the place was packed. It was rocking every night. Everywhere we went, you know, it was sold out arenas. They had to move out of high school gyms to play in arenas because that's the type of crowd we were drawing. They came out to see the individuals, came out to see the team. Those first three years that we played with Norris, Daquan, Aaron, all of them had just had great chemistry. Norris is just a good kid. I can't even remember him being called to the office unless he's come picking up a, a honors award or something. You know, he would nod off and I would wake him up and you know, he breaking his neck. I would wake him up. Norris, you know, you just wake up. He said, coach, I was up all night studying, you know, and I knew right there, I said, this guy's special. Norris was a salutatorian of his graduating class in high school. He was elated, and this is what he strived for. He strived to be the best in everything that he did. They wanted me to do my best, and my best was making honor roll, so if I couldn't make honor roll, I couldn't play. Maybe I shouldn't have made honor roll so quick. <laughs> <laughs> Being an outstanding student had its rewards, and so did owning this green van. Green Hornet, the Cole Mobile, Billy Jean. Some people just say, get rid of it. It was a piece of junk. <laughs> no story would be complete about Norris without this van. It's been part of our family since Norris and Deanna were babies. It's been to every championship, that he's been a part of from Little League, baseball, football, every championship he's been a part of. Everywhere, <laughs> everywhere that van went, it was a championship. <laughs> Cole was a key player in the 2006 and 2007 state basketball championship games. In 2006, Dunbar played the undefeated Worcester Triway and won in a blowout by 27. Norris contributed with 18 points. During his senior year, Dunbar beat Upper Sandusky 87-85 and became back-to-back -back state champions. Back-to-back -back was the was the highlight. You know, we was number one in the state, and you know everyone wanted to know could we do it again because we had the same type of talent, just different people. He just wanted to win, and he would do everything it took. He work out, work anybody he had. Doing it the second time, it was it was great because no one expected us to do it. 
On February 10th, 2012, Dunbar High School honored Norris Cole by retiring his jersey, number 30. And it's a great honor to attribute to what he's done for Dunbar High School, for himself, for his family, for the community. It's just exciting. It's just a pleasure. It's an honor. The only sad part is that he couldn't be here with us tonight, but he's here in spirit. A lot of great athletes have come through Dunbar. A lot more are there now. So to be recognized as one of the elite in the city, you know, it's, it's awesome.